you to poop where there's smoke. They pinch back. What? What the f One day, Edward was in the shed. No shit, Sherlock! Where he lived with the other engines. They were all bigger than Edward. Apparently. Okay, right off the bat, here's our first goof. And boasted about it. The driver won't choose you again. Six and a half out the end zone. Would you like to come out today? Oh, yes, please, said it. <laughs> so they lit his fire, made not enough steam. It was nearly time for the express. People were waiting, but the coaches weren't ready. Hilarious and original. Men lit his fire, made lots of steam, and Edward puffed away to Macken. <laughs> I'm building the building building the building the building. Oh yeah, Big Mac! Oh my god! Oh shit! <laughs> there goes the whole town! Edward worked hard all day. The coaches thought he was very kind oh and the driver was very good. But this is what the crashes would look like. If they were mirrored real life accidents in the show, this is what they would look like. I'm going out again tomorrow, Edward told the other engines that night. What do you think of that? But he didn't hear what they thought. But he was so tired and happy that he fell asleep at once. Gordon was still... <laughs> oh, that's not very nice. Edward likes shunting. It was fun. Fuck trucks. Come along, come along. He fussed. There's plenty of time, there's plenty of time, they grumble. Have you got some balls? Is ready? Oh, they cried. Whatever is happening. And suddenly let off steam. Instead of nice shining trucks, he was pulling a lot of very dirty coaches. He grumbled. There was trouble. Gordon can't get up the hill, the porter called to Edward's driver. Will you take Edward and push him, please? Oh dear, how sad. Never mind. We've... Running. Why are you running? He ran on to the next station, and there he found that the driver and fire were very pleased with him. Is that James's sad face? Hold on, oh, that's not my face. Yeah, yeah, I know it's you, James, Mr. Master Disguise. I'm sorry, but that's just not working today. Hey, 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 I'm still Edward. That was just a go from the studio. Oh, What's what? It sounds like a train. Uh-uh. These lines have been abandoned for 50 years. Oh. Once an engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. Probably in one of the tunnels above us. I don't know. Sounds awfully close to me. It went into a tunnel and squeaked through its funnel and wouldn't come out again. An engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. It went in. It went in. engine attached to a train was afraid of a few drops of rain. Then. Oh no. I've got a warning light. Guys, I've got a warning light on the dashboard. It says stop. The engine's name is Trevor. Oh yes, I like children. Hi, you! Along came 
Here comes the policeman, the big friendly policeman. P.C. McGarry, number four, five, two. They call him the fat cont said the fat because, <coughs> he said, my doctor has forbidden me to pop. I win all. But he didn't help. <coughs> My doctor has forbidden me to push, he said. I have a pretty stupid doctor. Hey, don't insult the elderly. Leave you here for always and always and always. Oh my god, the show is so evil. They locked the train into a tunnel and he died. <laughs> Couldn't get out of the tunnel anymore. <laughs> Fuck you, Henry. Train decides to stay in a tunnel for a little bit because he doesn't want to get wet from the rain. Brick him inside the tunnel and never let him out. Again, while being able to see all of his friends enjoying themselves as they chug along past him. This show was outright sadistic. I'm off. You stay where you are, mate. No, I'm afraid I'm on my way. Now. You're not going anywhere. <laughs> Going anywhere, mate. Wouldn't always pull the big express. He was proud of being the only engine strong enough to do so. Come along, come along, Puff James. <coughs> he said, Tickety talk, tick. I never liked these big engines. Always going wrong. Send for another engine at once. Edward was the only engine left. I can't try, he said. Why not let Henry try? Of course! Really? No. Peep, 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 said Henry. So am I. You and me. My hair is thinning a bit. Oh, your highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Oh, 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 my eyes! Three engines are now great friends. Just pathetic, grunted Gordon. He should give up and be preserved before it's too late. Edward is a useless old steam pot, Gordon sniffed. He should be retired. <laughs>